Greetings. My name is Michael Earlywine, and I've been studying and practicing astrology for some 50 years now. I want to tell you of an amazing astrology chart of yourself, but it's one that you probably have never heard about. It's called the Dharma chart. Uh, for me, it was a real discovery. When I first got into astrology, the idea of a Dharma chart did not exist. Back then, there weren't even any home computers or not, not even simple four-function calculators. Every astrology chart was done laboriously by hand using pencil, paper, books, and log tables. Few people could do it, but that's a whole other story. As for me, studying my astrology chart in the early 1960s gave me an alternate, alternate way of looking at myself. Um, I kind of called it a second opinion. And certainly it was an opinion that brought me some relief because I was, had been brought up in the pretty toxic psychological descriptions of people from that time. You know, labels that were then all the rage like paranoid, manic, depressive, schizophrenic, and so on. My whole generation, that was how we grew up thinking about ourselves, which wasn't at all helpful for a young person. Anyway, I soon identified with my astrology chart and inhaled its alternate, you know, alternate description of who I was compared to all of the psychological labels that society had pinned on my whole generation. But I just assumed that the standard astrology chart, you know, the traditional one we all know, that chart of me uh, was a map of my spirituality, or whatever we could agree to call it, when instead, in fact, it was a map of what we could call my karma, the circumstances and personality in which I found myself living. Was it valuable? Of course. But it was nowhere near an overview, much less a map of how I might awaken, how I might waken up and... and uh, take better advantage of my life. It was not a spiritual chart. It did not clearly show a path, and back then I sure needed a path. So I struggled to glean specks of spiritual truth from my astrology chart, my natal chart, uh, when just by looking at my own birth moment in the same planets from another different but more inclusive perspective, that path would have been very clear to me and clear to see. When I finally discovered the Dharma chart, it kind of flipped me around. Now keep in mind, as mentioned er earlier, there was no, there were no astrology programs back then. In fact, I, I'm the first person in the world, I guess, to program astrology on home computers and then make those programs available to my fellow astrologers. That was in 1977. And computers for home use were just brand new, just coming out. In fact, according to an article done for Red Herring magazine, the company that I founded, Matrix Software, is the second oldest software company on the internet. The only older company is a little company called Microsoft, so that should tell you something. It was, way back then, a pretty wild frontier. And as a programmer, I naturally found myself exploring, programming various astrological techniques. And one of these was heliocentrics, which is sun-centered astrology. I knew nothing about it. For me, it was one more technique to program and to figure out how to interpret. So there I was, peering through the lens of my traditional natal chart and my traditional training at this odd heliocentric perspective of me, myself, and trying to make sense of what I saw there. And the helio chart, sun chart, gave a very different take on me, I mean, on who I was and what I was capable of and so on. Hmm, I thought, this might be really me. This is more like me than, this is like the me that I always thought I was. So without realizing it, I had fallen down the rabbit hole and was about to go through an earth change in consciousness. Before I realized it, I was identifying more with my heliocentric chart, which came to be called the Dharma chart, than I was with the traditional geocentric natal chart that we all are used to. 
So that's a big statement. So think about that for a moment. I completely changed my perspective on myself. The traditional astrology chart had been my, up to that point, whole world, astrologically speaking. And then I had just transferred my identification from that chart to another even more complete view of myself. In the sun chart or the helio chart, there I found the spirituality that I had always tried to intuit from my birth chart. So here indeed was a dharma chart. And this dharma chart was the me that I always felt that I was inside of me, but, but that I had never had any confirmation from outside by anyone uh, or in my, by looking at my regular geocentric chart, it did not appear this way. Before I knew it, I was inside that helio chart full time and looking out and looking through that chart and looking through my personality, which is my traditional natal chart that we all know, rather than the reverse. Previously, I had been like an outsider looking in, looking, trying to go in, trying to find out about my inner life. And then there I was suddenly on the inside looking out for the first time. It was empowering, to say the least, and it felt so natural. So that's what I meant earlier when I said I flipped it. I mean, the I that I call me just flipped, and I saw myself differently. I somehow transferred my consciousness to a deeper center and finally identified myself as a spiritual being. I mean, I'd been looking for that as a traveler on the path to awakening. And although, although of course, I still use my karma chart, my traditional geo chart, of course, I've never gone back to that old natal chart view of my spirituality because it was kind of, as the Bible says, through a glass darkly, to borrow that phrase. The heliocentric dharma chart is a natural way to view our spirituality. Uh, it's an inner self, um, literally what I call the dharma chart, looking from inside through the lens of our personality, our karma, out at the world. All my life I had been an outsider trying to get in. I hadn't known myself, I didn't know myself, and the Helio Dharma chart introduced me to myself and I'm forever grateful. My consciousness is now seated at the center of the sun, not earth, if that makes sense to anyone. Anyway, you need two charts, and these two charts, the Dharma chart and the Karma chart, are merely different views of the same moment in time, the same planets and so on. Of course, each view is intricately embedded in the other, if we could only unravel it, but there's no need. We have both of, both of the charts to look at, and I have to laugh, and I, I mean laugh when I think of how many years I struggled to read my Dharma path from the standard traditional geocentric natal chart. Well, it wasn't designed for that. I believe that the psychologist Carl Jung would have called the Dharma chart our archetype, you know, the tribe of beings that we belong to, our lineage. It takes two views to triangulate anything. And in astrology, it's possible to look at the planets and your birth moment from different perspectives or angles, from views other than the standard natal chart that has been used for, used for the last, you know, many centuries. In fact, without some differential for comparison, how is how do we know anything? I mean... One of my favorite jazz tunes is what is a song by Les McCann. It's, it's called, humorously enough, Compared to What? With two or more perspectives, we can triangulate and get a three-dimensional view of something, in this case of our own essential nature. The Dharma chart and the Karma chart, these two charts n naturally complement one another because they're simply two different views of the same planets at the same moment in time. The Dharma chart is a view of who we are on the inside, and the Karma chart is a view of what we are up against on the outside, our circumstances, our personality, what we have to deal with and go through in our life. In hierarchy, the Dharma chart is the key to our karma, just as in Buddhism, Dharma is the key to our karma. The helio is the mother, the geo chart, the standard chart is the child. 
It took me some 40 years to reduce the complexity of the helio chart patterns to something communicable, and I'm communicating it to you now. You can, and I have to give you a little sales pitch. I did take exactly what I do when I sit down with a person and do a Dharma chart and Karma chart reading, and I wrote it into a report. If anyone is interested in looking at their Dharma chart and having an interpretive, interpreted, then uh, I'm going to give you a link where you can go and have that done. So I hope you enjoyed this.